Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, The Nursing Jewel. And I promised I wouldn't take as long in between videos. So I'm actually proud of myself because <laughs> I know in between my videos, it's been like a couple of months, but I'm like, okay, it's been a couple of weeks. So let me give them an update, especially because a lot has been happening um, school-wise. So I was like, all right, let me give you guys an update. First off, these are blue light glasses. Um, they're not prescription glasses. Um, whenever I do schoolwork on my laptop, my husband actually made me get the blue light glasses because he's big on like protecting my eyes and stuff. So he got these for me. But um, yeah, so I wanted to talk about the capstone for Capella and like how that's been going. I didn't start capstone yet, but I've actually been preparing for it. Um, so as of, I would say... Was it Friday or Thursday? I closed out um, one of the classes that I had taken and I registered for a new course. So right now I'm registered for two classes um, and I only have three left um, with the third being capstone. So I'm like really, really almost there. Like I feel like I'm really gonna reach my goal of when I wanna finish. I know I won't be able to um, finish in time to make the the Texas graduation that is, um, I think either September 13th and 14th, but the deadline for that was August 9th. And I know I heard that Capella gives a little leeway with like, if you finish around August 9th, like maybe a week or two after, they could still squeeze you in for the September commencement. But I already know like, you know, I'm not gonna be able to make the September commencement. So March is my goal. Um, but yeah, I want to talk to you guys about like how it is finding a preceptor and doing the capstone and like that whole thing <laughs> um so yeah let's get into it so um as i said i closed out um, one of my classes last week so now on my um, academic plan it shows that i am 60 percent done with the program um like i said um i'm enrolled in two the one i should be finishing up by this coming week um, it, I did start it like, I think early July, so I should be finishing um, this week as I stated. Um, so yeah, three left to go. So usually with Capella, they say that learners should um, start finding their pre their preceptor and their capstone and get it approved within, excuse me, within your first course. To me, after going through like the, the whole like, um, core ELMS which is the system that they use for like the capstone and preceptor and getting all that approved I'm like I don't see how you could do that because once you fill out the form it asks you like oh when do you anticipate starting um your capstone and having the preceptor and I'm kind of like yeah some people like reach out to preceptors and like oh sometime it the thing with Capella with the flex path is that you know you go as fast or as slow as you want to so it's like you could find a preceptor and you could be like, oh yeah, I'm going to do my capstone in September. But then if you don't finish in time, like, you know, you can't do your, like, um, your practicum hours unless you're enrolled in capstone. So it's like, it's kind of weird in that sense where it's like, you know, you don't really know exactly when you're going to start capstone unless you're really focused and have a plan of yes, I'm gonna finish all my classes by this date and I'm gonna start Capstone and then you can reach out to a preceptor. But I think that's one of the funky parts of uh, being a FlexPath student at Capella is that like when you reach out to the preceptors, you kind of have to guess when you tell them like, oh, hey, I need, um, can I have my practicum at your, your site? So yeah, right before I finished, um, right before I went to Florida. By the way, I went to Florida last month. If you guys want to see the vlog, <clears throat> I went with my husband and his family. Um, it'll be in my main channel. The link will be in the description box below. Check it out. Um, but yeah, right before I went to Florida, I started reaching out to different sites to ask them, um, you know, hey, you got any preceptors? Can I use your site for my practicum? I use the same email for most of them and just like change the site name. But I basically explain to them like, hey, I'm an MSN student at Capella University. Um, I'm, I have a capstone course that um, I need to fulfill 100 hours of preceptorship, 80 hours, which could be um, 
like shadowing spins 20 hours which will be independent research for my capstone project and then like explain to them how I found that site, what I like about them. Um, right now I've been looking more at psych, uh, like private practices and like clinics just because um, I'm a psych girly. <laughs> if you guys have been watching me for like about a year or two years, since 2022, I've been doing psych nursing and um, that's what I like. That's what I feel comfortable in. So I'm like, I feel like I could get more out of like learning what it's like being um, in administration at a psych facility. So like a lot of the places I hit up, I would say I hit up so far seven places and only two have gotten back to me, <laughs> only two. <laughs> and the crazy thing is um, a lot of the sites that I messaged, like I would say three of the sites that I messaged, um, they did not have an affiliation with Capella. So Capella has a whole affiliation agreement list with like hundreds and hundreds of sites um, from different states. And like, I went through the list. I looked at the ones that were in New Jersey because that's where I live. I looked at the ones that were nearest to where I live because New Jersey's big. So like one place could be in New Jersey, but it's like a two hour drive for me. So like I looked at places that were closer. So three of them that I messaged, they were... Um, they were not on the affiliation list, but they were closer to where I live, like closer to my town. And then the other four were on the affiliation list. So um, the only two that got back to me, one was on the, they were both on the affiliation list. So the first one, um, they got back to me and they were like, hey, um, we do not provide preceptor placement for you, but we'd be happy to have you if you found someone here who would want to be your preceptor. So I was like, bro, it's like a large hospital. I'm like, I don't know anyone who works at that hospital, like a nurse or a nurse administrator, a nurse leader. So I'm like, and I don't have their contact information. So I'm like, all right, that's a pass. And then um, the other place um, is about 20 minutes away from me. It's a psych clinic. And um, they got back to me literally, it was the same day. Um, they got back to me. They're like, well, forward your information to the right department. Then the next day they got back and was like, fill out this um, internship inquiry form um, and then we'll send it to the office. If you have, they have multiple sites. So they're like, hey, if you have a place that works better for you, but I picked two, two that were like manageable for me to drive to. Um, and then like they said, you know, they'll reach out within a week for an interview and all that stuff. So I was like, okay, so right now that is where my fingers are crossed <laughs> to get. Cause I'm like, um, I'm trying to finish my whole program before the billing period ends. And so that is sometime in September. And at the pace that I'm going, I'm like, I should be starting capstone sometime in September. So it's like, and I already like anticipate having like two weeks to complete the 80 hours. Like, you know, just taking the two weeks off from work and doing that. So I'm like, really <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm really like getting down to the wire and the annoying thing is I do have a friend or my sister's best friend who is a psych nurse practitioner and she was willing to precept me under her private practice and so I had filled out everything I asked her for her information sent that into the school and the school was like they can't approve her as a preceptor because her professional um, email is a Gmail, which was so annoying. So basically, let's say for example, um, I'll use Robert Wood for example. Uh, Robert Wood is a hospital in New Jersey. So, well, they have multiple hospitals in New Jersey. So like, let's say I work there, I don't. <laughs> Nurses went on strike there, hey, okay. <laughs> but let's say I work there, it would be ruby blah, blah, blah at rwj.org. So, my sister's best friend who's a nurse practitioner she has her own private practice like i said but her private practice's email is just like blah 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 at gmail.com so because it didn't say um blah 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 at blah blah dot org or something like that or dot com they didn't approve her as my preceptor which was very very annoying because that would have been so convenient like like i said she had all the credentials and everything like you know to preset me but they just said no and she doesn't have a, a email like a website so 
it didn't get approved. So now I'm just like banking on <laughs> the clinic that I messaged. I'm also going to reach out to some more clinics, um, some psych facilities and stuff like that and see if, you know, if they could have a preceptor for me and then be my site. Because like I said, I'm trying to be done by next month. And <laughs> this this part really does take long. It really, really does take long. And I'm hoping they don't ask for anything else. The whole like capstone practicum thing, like looking at the website and the steps is so confusing. If Capella is listening, you guys need to work on that because <laughs> like there was like a whole practicum guide, like step by step. And I was going through that and I was like, fill out the agreement form then blah, blah, blah. So no, I was like, um, fill out the site prospector form and then do something else and do something else. So I filled that out originally when I picked my sister's best friend. And then like I did that and then there was a site agreement form. It was like, do not submit the site prospector form until you have submitted and gotten approved your agreement form. And I'm like, well, how come it didn't say that in the step-to-step -step guide? So then I had to delete that and it's just a whole hot mess and a half. So like, I see why they say start early, but like I said, there's no way of like reaching out to a place and being like, hey, I know for sure on this date, I am going to be an intern at your site or something like that. Like that's an area that Capella needs to kind of improve on. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, right now, my focus is just banging out these last four classes before the capstone that's the other thing so let's say i finish these four uh courses but i don't have a precept or a site approved yet i cannot register for capstone so you cannot register for capstone at all until you have an approved site and preceptor excuse me so that's why i'm like okay i've been going through these classes pretty fast i know it's approaching soon i need to get this approved but um yeah like i said my main goal right now is finishing up these last four courses um, based on what I saw the last three before the capstone, including the new one that I registered for last week, the professors are tough graders based on everyone's reviews. Like they give a hard time. They make you resubmit things over and over. They're very nitpicky. So y'all keep me in your prayers. Your girl is like in the final stretch of her MSM program. And yeah, anyone else who's wondering what else is after this? school wise as far as getting another degree i am done <laughs> i am done i know i said that with my bsn but as far as like you know this is where i stop msn and that's okay no i don't want to be a nurse practitioner i had a conversation with someone before that was like yeah i think you should become a nurse practitioner i'm like no i have no z desire to be a nurse practitioner and that's okay and <laughs> Based on like a lot of the nurse practitioners that I've been talking to <clears throat> lately, what a lot of them have said is that they get paid more as an RN than they do starting as a nurse practitioner. Or like if they've been an RN for like a couple of years at the same facility, they get paid more than what they would have as a nurse practitioner. So I feel like that's something now that unless you have a strong desire to be a, a nurse practitioner or provider, don't waste your time <laughs> but that's just me so yeah i think that's it that's oh, yeah. it guys so i almost forgot this is super duper important for anyone who is trying to get into capella's msn program listen up so um i would say right when i started uh whoops right when i started applying to preceptor uh sites and practicum sites Capella decided to drop a new, new, um, new bombshell. <laughs> That's what my mom usually says, a bombshell. But, um, no, so they decided they will be, um, to line up with industry standards, they will now be increasing the practicum required hours from 100 to 500 direct or indirect, um, uh, clinical hours so this is huge because um one of the things that people like about capella is that it is quick people have been able to finish within um three months six months four or five you name it um from what i've seen in all the facebook chats and i agree as well i feel like this is a big money grab for capella um basically what they're doing is because i'm like 
<laughs> sorry because like talking to my one friend who's in the msn education uh specialization we both agree that like hey no one really needs 500 hours unless you're doing like unless you're going to be a nurse practitioner like why else would anyone need 500 hours of like clinical or practicum hours like that makes no sense i don't know what industry standards they're trying to line up with but unless it's for like you know nurse practitioner that's the only way it makes sense but capella is actually doing this for all of their msn programs and specializations that means nursing leadership and administration education care coordination informatics and well they don't have a flex path for nurse practitioner but yeah all of their msn flex path and guided path programs is now 500 while well, starting october 7th or 8th they said um it'll be required to finish to complete 500 hours and when you look at it especially flex path that's holding you back like even if you were to take three months off of work which is like kind of impossible like wait am i wording it right okay so the equivalent of 500 hours when i looked it up is the equivalent of taking three months off of work if you want to do it every single week which is impossible so they're literally sh making the flex path program stretched out for like an extra three four five months for people which is definitely unfair so what a lot of people i think that i've seen is a lot of people have been applying to capella um like before the October deadline because I think it only applies to people who start October 7th or 8th or people who have taken a break like how I used to take breaks <laughs> in Capella like if I were to take a break right now and say like you know what I'm gonna take a break and come back into the program they will automatically put me into the 500 hour um requirement so for now it's still 100 hours for me i think anyone who applies and gets accepted and starts before october 7th or 8th i think you could still make the 100 hour requirement but i just thought like you know because a lot of people have been contacting um not contacting me but telling me that they're interested in the program and this is definitely something that definitely makes a big difference because one of the things like i said before capella is known for is people getting their master's degree is pretty fast, faster than a lot of these other universities like Walden or Grand Canyon. You know, you do your paperwork. Um, if you're on it, you finish. But now, like I said, with the 500 hour requirement, that's definitely like, you know, and they didn't say if like, kind of like how like the 100 hours, 80 hours could be like at your site and then 20 hours could be like you at home working on your capstone. They didn't designate how much is like split up for the 500 hours they just said 500 hours period so anyone who's interested in capella i would say start now or start by september or you know maybe reconsider because other schools you know they don't have that 500 hour requirement so just a fyi for anyone who wants to who's thinking about starting capella you know hurry up <laughs> that's my update y'all so uh, keep me in your prayers <laughs> um and yeah check out my video on my main channel like i said um yeah i usually post there more than on this channel sorry guys <laughs> life has been life in but like in a good way like i said in my last video so um you know i like to post all my little adventures that i go on um especially with my husband now like you know i like to post that all on my main channel so if you guys are interested in being nosy you know check that out check out my wedding video we're actually coming up on our one year anniversary in a couple of weeks so like you know support the couple by watching our our wedding video <laughs> But yeah, I think that's about it. So yeah, guys, if you like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.